why you suck at dance you want the brutal truth the brutal honesty why you suck why you dance <laughs> like you ain't got no rhythm just why you suck Popping to the tube, it's your girl Chelsea back with another video. Sorry for my crazy uploads, they have been sporadic, they have not been on the regular upload days, such as Wednesday and Saturday. I have been very, very busy, my life has been crazy, gen packed, and it's hard to find days to film for y'all. But I'm gonna get into that in a whole nother video because that's not why you're here, you're here to figure out why you suck at dance you want the brutal truth the brutal honesty why you suck why you dance <laughs> like you ain't got no rhythm just why you suck so if you want to stop sucking at dance listen first off the main reason you suck at dance is because you are not practicing if you practice and when I say practice, I mean practice. I don't mean two, three minutes a day just trying to get some moves. No, I mean dedication. You got to put your all into something. Anything you want to do in life, you need to put your all into it. That's how you can become great or the best or almost perfect. Because there's no such thing as something being perfect. This is why I stress and always tell you almost perfect. Because nothing is perfect in this world. So you need to practice 24 seven. I'm not saying live, breathe, eat, dance, but if you are true about being a dancer and this is something you want to do, you need to practice in your free time practice. When you're not doing nothing, practice. Look up all these different type of dancers to master your craft. Don't be a jack of all trades, because the saying is, jack of all trades, but it adds none. Meaning, if you don't know what that means, basically, you try a ton of different things, but you're not really good at, great at anything. You're mediocre in all of it because you stress yourself out so far, you cannot become great at one thing. So what I'm telling you is, look up a ton of different dancers. Don't just only look at Chelsea because I'm not the best and I'm not gonna sit here and tell you I'm the best. I just want to lay out the foundation for y'all and give y'all the beginner stuff so y'all can learn from it and watch other people and become amazing and great. That's what I want to do. And I know I'm not the best. I'm not even going to sit here like I'm the best. I'm not as dedicated as I was when I was a kid because I grew up and other things interested me and I just have a busy schedule. But if you want to grow up and become a dancer, you got to practice. You need to watch a ton of other dancers there are so many freaking hip-hop dancers that are literally on youtube like i watch matt stefanino or something like that i watch kaylin harris the list goes on and on there's so many different ones because even those they do hip-hop they do different type of hip-hop this is why i say check out different people they don't even have to be on youtube they can be famous ones you see on broadway and everything and in these big time companies watch them practice them learn from them that is the goal practice 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 number two another reason number two another reason you can suck could be your facial expressions i have a video going into detail about mastering facial expressions so i'm not gonna go into a lot of detail that link will be down below but make sure you are practicing again your facial expressions 24 7 looking in the mirror listen to the music and then think huh does this song require me to smile 24 7 or should my face get kind of ugly with it like there's ways you can be pretty ugly which might not seem like how can you be pretty but ugly at the same time there are ways you can do that so make sure you are practicing your facial expressions make sure you're watching other people who do performances with their facial expressions and learn from them that takes time because i used to smile 24 7 doing moves and it didn't look right it didn't always match so that's something you gotta work on number three you need to exercise and eat right and what i'm saying is you don't have to be like a skinny ballerina because this is a new generation and you don't have to be a skinny ballerina no more yes in some companies that's what they want that's what 
they aspire to be certain companies that's what you need to be so if that's what you want hey go for it but if you don't care about being a skinny ballerina because that's not generation change like i said don't do it there are so many dancers that are big that are like big boned and a like different body types you know body positivity there are so many different dancers of different body types and you'd be surprised they can be healthier than a really skinny girl or really skinny ballerina just because a person is bigger that does not mean they are unhealthy and i think a lot of people get that misconstrued it and think oh she big she ain't healthy no no Think about plus size models. They're actually healthy because a lot of them have to work really hard to stay that size so they can keep getting gigs and gigs and gigs, you know? So you can't necessarily say someone's unhealthy because some of these girls who say are bigger than me, they ain't fat, they're just bigger than me. They be killing it. But you need to make sure you're putting good things into this body. I can go into detail of some healthy recipes and food things because I do a lot of meal preps. That's all I do. Got my whole family doing meal preps because we eat healthy over here. Um, I can show you that. And then you need to exercise because a lot of dancing, it will tire you out. So your cardio, your stamina needs to be pretty high, especially if you want to do majorette. Right. And I teach a lot of majorette. This is why I'm starting to incorporate a lot of fitness videos into my channel because that is something y'all need to do. And I know not all y'all can lift weights or lift as heavy as I lift because I want to be a power lifter. Yeah. So I know a lot of y'all can't do that. So I'm going to show y'all some very easy like body weight exercise, resistance exercises, or even lightweight exercises. Just do something fitness related. It don't even got to be a lot. You can do jump rope and for all I care. It just, you got to do something also you want to make sure you're drinking enough water because water actually helps with your skin my skin is like all messed up i'm not sure if y'all can see very well i had a terrible terrible breakout i don't know why i don't really break out like that but i had a bad breakout make sure you're drinking a lot of water because that also helps with your skin as well y'all but those are like the three main things of why you suck at dance so if you want to stop sucking at dance listen follow what i said put forth the effort and determination if you do that like i said earlier you can do anything in this world if you just try and take the risk take that leap of faith and work hard you'll be able to achieve anything you want to achieve but yeah guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did give it a big thumbs up and then down below do not forget to subscribe your girl blows every single week um I have a lot of big things coming this summer so i hope you guys stay tuned um i'm gonna still post dance videos i'm gonna get better at that but i'm also gonna be posting a lot of other things besides just dance so i'm gonna stick to my wednesdays of just dance but you're gonna see a lot more so y'all can get to know me more but yeah guys so i can say the end of all my videos be rough be real be you and we're officially guest up my loves bye